The attention to detail is insane. I mean, seriously, the spinning coins and everything. Thank you, we're gonna do some decorations with acorns. Yeah. But look what they're doing, you guys. They are finishing up our tree and they're trimming up our palms. This is ABC One Two Tree. They are amazing. The wonderful tree company from Duke Energy also. So thankful for them. After watching companies cut trees down now, I'm like really blown away at the amount of work it takes to do it. It's crazy. These guys are amazing. Trimming up everything. Since the guys don't get here any earlier than this, they might, Sebastian might meet up with me, but I wanted to go see Nintendo World, so I decided that I was just gonna go solo and just go check it out at Universal Studios Hollywood. I think I've been here one time. I can't remember, actually. There's minions, and then there's the new Mario stuff. Oh, and there's Simpsons. Right, so I will be hitting that place up when I leave. Ah, uh, they have Simpsons World here, thank God. All right, so this is gonna be the best part in the entire place, Already even better than Nintendo World. The saddest thing is, because in um, Orlando, this is all blocked off. We don't have, oh wow, this is cool. There's more stuff here. So, in the University of Hollywood still has the Krusty World. world which is good because I got so sad that they didn't do it or closed it in Orlando's. Oh, there's Bart. And there's the Harry Potter stuff over there. Mario's down there. I'll show you guys that later. Look how thick this vine is around the tree. Can you see this? They're cutting all the vine off first before they cut the tree down. And it's kind of crazy to see how thin the vine is. I'm sorry, how thin the tree is. And they're trimming up our little palm right here. Oh my gosh, we're getting so much work done. This is crazy. Crazy. <laughs> Char's at Disney World. Simpsons. Or Simpsons World. Simpsons is back in here in LA, but it's not our Here, you want to see? Ben, look. Look, watch. Whoa. Look at who that is. I want to look inside. Who's that? Well, well, Char is running around, gallivanting around California at Lake. Where are you at? You're at Mario World and Simpsons World. Uh, Hollywood Studios. Hollywood Studios. I'm over here documenting our trees being trimmed up and cut down. I get to have a crusty burger for the last time, probably. Oh no, that's so sad. I know. Why don't you bring me home one? A crusty burger. Yeah. I just gate check it. Perfect. What should get REMI? Something special. There's a lot of Princess P out there. We can get us some Simpsons stuff. Simpsons. So far, we got a little point going on for Universal Hollywood. There it is. It's always so funny. I always said that if they made like a Mario uh, like land type of thing, it would look so vibrant and so cool. And so far. Remy, look at look what I found. It's the Goombas. Wait, where'd the Goomba go? Right there. Do you see the Goomba? And then Princess Peach's house. And there's Oki. The attention to detail is insane. I mean, seriously, the spinning coins and everything. to appreciate the level of, actually I'm gonna get in line first. As Bowser himself.
quick little fun fact about Princess Peach. Back in the day, she was Princess Toadstool. And I don't know if you guys knew this, Bowser's real name, or original name was King Koopa. I feel like there's an entire millennium generation that just accepted the fact that it went from King Koopa and Princess Toadstool to Princess Peach and Bowser. Just casually just glossed into that. Nobody Because for the longest time, I grew up with him being King Koopa. the Mario Kart ride a pretty much a, a 10 out of 10, maybe a 9 out of 10. It was slightly hard to control, but it was pretty fascinating. It's like the hologram like uh, visor situation, but it was actually really, really fun. The technology is pretty much what's actually the coolest part about the whole ride. It took a second for me to realize how it actually worked, but it's definitely worth it. I just showed Remy everything and she's freaking out because she saw Prince of Beach in the background. If you guys are curious, that's actually what our tree looks like without all the vines all over it. Check out the Thank mummy to the just mummy. to see if it's anything different than the, uh, the one in Orlando. I don't think it's going to be. So far it looks like it is the same. I have to say, mummy's always been a cool ride, but the problem is with this one, it's just, a, it's not the same. So if you have a chance of going to the Orlando one or uh, this one, definitely go to the Orlando. I just realized I'm gonna splash some. So there's a fire element to the one in Orlando. They don't have it here, which is a kind of a bummer because that's literally, just like when you go into a certain area in the mummy, all you do is smell is gas and propane and stuff like that. I was expecting that the entire time, did not have it. Still, actually the roller coaster itself was longer though. Way better than Orlando though. It continues. We got disco stews, got the police station, you got Snake up there, the Bartman in the background. Yeah, so in Orlando we just have that, and Moe's, and Krusty Burger. So they got uh, Suds McDuff's hot dogs, they got Luigi's Pizza. One thing I do have to give it to them, they have a lot of cool little lands though. So I guess this is the Minion one, the Minion Land. Update, update. That's what our tree looks like. Okay, I want you guys to see something. Gosh, can you see? See those like black lines, or it looks like almost like lines or cuts in the tree? That's from vines. That's the craziest part. That is from a vine. And then all those giant pieces down there, those are vines. It's what? I am literally blown away. There on the left, the green uh, mobile lab unit featured in the Lost World Jurassic Park, the second of the trilogy. Alan, you're going to do exercise. I promise you. That's just a dinosaur. Hello. Throw out that big, big price shift. It was a big problem. I'm going to watch out back here, guys. You got to put a little bit of action there. Uh, you might be in the splash zone. And Western stars like John Wayne, Kirk Douglas, Jimmy Stewart, Clint Eastwood, Robert Redford. Spill their territory here. We'll, we'll fare much better here, I believe. Sure. Uh, this is one of the sets from his 2005 sci fi epic, War of the Worlds. We're going to hear from Spielberg and production designer Rick Carter now. They're going to tell us more about this. Oh my gosh, they have been busting their butt all day. I can't believe this. Okay. You guys are not going to think this is that big of a deal, but it is a big deal. It's like a huge deal to me because they've just done such an incredible job. Um, but first off, they clean up our palm. Looks amazing. 
and it's gone. It's gone. It's absolutely gone. No more troubles here. It kind of sucks that we have this thing back here, but it's okay. And they're gonna come and they're gonna grind this down. Look how big the base of this was. It was massive, like huge. So they're gonna come grind this down. Unfortunately, a little bit of the ground got some divots in it. So we'll just fix that, which won't be that big of a deal. Their branches were super heavy and they couldn't help it, which is fine. So we're gonna fix the ground. It's just awesome. It's cr kind of crazy actually. And I think we have enough turf that we might be able to put it all the way back to the end of the fence line. I can't believe it. We have no tree. It's gone.